Okay, using your switch blade filing jig that I've sent you. Um, if you undo the uh, the thumb screw, that will make the top clamp loose. Um, you've got a very small uh, hole to insert the rail at the end, and you want to insert the rail so that the solder side is facing away from you. So you're actually not filing the solder side; you're filing the opposite side. So I'll pop that in, the, in there now. That goes in. Loosen that off. Slide the, uh, the rail through. Uh, now, what I do is end the rail about halfway between where it comes out to the end and start filing there first, and that just takes off the, the, the sharp end of the, uh, of the rail. Okay, make sure you've tightened the uh, thumb screw, you don't have to go too tight, it will grip quite nicely. Um, and on this flat here, just start filing against that flat. Start very gently first, otherwise it could grab the end of the rail quite easily and bend the rail, you don't want that to happen. So go very lightly first off. Gradually increase, increase pressure as you go. Just take, starting to take off the uh, the end. So that's uh, taken off the uh, you know the very corner of that the end of the rail there. Okay. Once it's taken off the 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 you know the most of that there, you can loosen the jig back off. I've done that quite tight, haven't I? There we go. And then move the rail up to the very end. No, not the very end, but you know, about about there on the jig. If you go to the very end, it's going to file too far, and you, you don't want to file down all the way to the solder on the opposite side. So say about there. So you want to be filing. So you get a nice sharp blade, but not far enough so you break through to the solder the other side. You don't want to be doing that. So with this tightened up, I'll just continue filing. Again, start gently. And yeah, it's, it, it will only take around 10 minutes or so to, to file. Just, just be patient, gentle. It will just slowly come off. I get into the habit of keep changing angles as well, so I start following from this side as well. And also, in this direction, Yeah, it's only well, it's been less than ten minutes, and uh, yeah, I think that's that's filed down quite nicely. So it's it's flush with the uh, the surface. So once that's done, you can remove that from the jig. Uh, just check it. I'll just uh, just clean off the top and the bottom of the of the uh, rail. Give it a clean up. And the bottom. Just takes off any burr. So what I actually do now is insert the rail back in the other way round so that you are filing the solder side. Tighten it down. You don't have to go all the way to the end just about about there 
and what this is going to do is just, just take off a little bit of the solder side so you get a nice sharp blade and I've found this works very very well uh, again go light just very light filing and you don't have to go as much as you do did on the other side so you're just taking off a little bit of that end Good. That's getting into a nut. That's becoming a nice sharp blade. And that's all you need to do on that side. You remove that, and that is now a nice, uh, a nice sharp blade, and we're ready to solder the chair plate to the blade using the assembly jig.